Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I got some videos to talk about, including this lady that flips out at a comedy club. And this is a different one than the last comedy club one y'all saw in my past video. I also got some funny, wholesome, and interesting videos. So if you're new to the channel, just make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. So look, in this first clip, this guy is riding an ATV in the streets, and this group of ladies decide to pull up to him and complain that he can't ride around here. I mean, the fact that they even chased him down is ridiculous to me, but y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. What? Why are you doing it? I can't hear. You can't, you can't drive here. What? I, 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 I can't hear you. I, I left my hearing aid at home. I don't know what you're saying. Oh my God, it's two Karens. It's Karens and a Mercedes, dude. Bro, it, it's two Karens and a Mercedes. Two. She said she, they can't breathe because of the dust or something. I don't know. Let's go home. Go, don't turn around. Go, go. What? What do you want? What do you want? Joe will let you ride here. Joe let me ride here. Joe who? Joe mama. Alright, so in the next clip, there's no sound in the video, but from what I understood, this astronaut just came back from space after 197 days in space and basically has to readjust his balance and almost learning how to walk again. I guess his body's just not used to the gravity, but y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. Uh, don't drop my beast. Put it down. Really, Alex? I just told you. Alright, so this is an MRI of someone while they're speaking. It looks kind of weird, but I really wanted to talk about the next clip after this. So in the clip, we got a comedian who's doing a stand-up routine, and this lady has been acting up throughout the whole show, I guess, from what the guy says. I feel like people that do this are just begging for attention. So that's exactly what she gets. And I feel the comedian handled her well, but y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. So this photo is of a woman who was being thrown out of my show and she's flipping off everyone in the crowd as they cheer her exit. And this is the video. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, I guess it's progress. You raise your hand, so that's... <laughs> No, well, no one thinks it's funny when you do it. Like, do it. Here's the thing, I, and I, I will honestly try to be as uh, as clear. Do you? What did you think was going to happen here today? Did you know we were going to talk? Does it not help when people interact? No. How many times do you need to be told that? This is, uh, I think it's best, for real. No, no, but you've had, how many people have you had tell you that this is not what we do tonight? There have been four comics, and three of them have not liked what you're I'm doing, sorry, right? sorry, I paid $20 per ticket. How many oh, tickets did you buy? Oh. How many tickets did you buy? Oh, no. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Well, now I feel kind of sexy. I've never, oh. I've never had someone throw food. I'll let you stuff it somewhere. All right. Okay. <laughs> you, you, oh my God. All right. So I have to get my mother. Great. Okay, I'm just breaking in real quick to say that the daughter forgot her mom, left her at the table when she left, so now she had to come back in to get her to get kicked out together. Here's the thing. She has to she has to behave herself, otherwise this is what happens. Uh, we all agree I'm an asshole. We all agree. And I'm sorry to all of you. 
Damn, this is like the most well-behaved crowd I've performed for in a long time. Almost. It's so close. So many people here seem to know what was gonna happen. It must be wildly disappointing to go to a show and be like, I thought I was on the show. <laughs> this is why I tape every show. This is why, put this up on TikTok, see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so in the next clip, these restaurant workers found a snake, and this brave guy decides to step up and get rid of the snake, but things ended up taking a different turn. Alright, so the next clip was just interesting to me. Now, I don't know that much about mummies, but they found one in Lima. But what caught my attention is the position the mummy was found in. I mean, it's just amazing that we still find the mummies till this day. Imagine how many more of them are probably out there that we just haven't discovered yet. Peruvian archaeologists found this mummy in good condition in the archaeological complex of Caramarquilla, east of Lima. They found the mummy in the fetal position and tied with ropes in an oval underground funerary structure. The body reportedly belongs to a man dating back to pre-Incan times. Peter Van Dalen Luna is an archaeologist and professor at San Marcos University. He says since the mummy was found tied up in rope with his hands covering its face, that indicates this was part of a local funeral. The mummy was also found surrounded by various offerings, including pots, ceramics, and gourds with botanical remains. Archaeologists reportedly hope this discovery will help them understand cultural practices and traditions in pre-Incan times in Cajamarquilla better. So this lady has three dogs that would never leave their sight, I guess. But look, in the next clip, I really wanted to talk about these guys that are trying to get home or get to wherever they are going. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but they should make this a challenge in the Squid Game Season 2. But y'all check it out and let me know what you think. Alright, so for the next clip, we got this guy that has been living with an alligator for the past 34 years. And when I say live, I mean like living there, like the alligator should pay rent. Because it's not in his backyard or anything, it has a bed with sheets and a pillow to sleep in, all the good stuff. It's actually pretty interesting because he walks it and everything. And I'm pretty sure no one is brave enough to break into this guy's house with the gator around. But check out the clip and let me know down in the comment section if you would ever have a pet gator. なでなでもらってもいいですか<笑><笑> 
Now for the last clip of the day, it's a wholesome clip. These are actually a lot harder to find than the crazy ones, but this girl works at a dog shelter and I guess she got attached to one of the dogs that she takes care of. So her boyfriend, and I'm just assuming it's the boyfriend, ends up surprising her. But y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. All right, so that's about it for today. So if you enjoyed any of those videos, let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite one. Also, share with your friends and social media if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to have even more videos coming soon. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And we out.